Hi, Scott Berter here. So uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to access your PSP Go using an Android smartphone. Now the things you need are the PSP Go, ha ha ha, open it up, Android smartphone. Uh, there's an application I like to use um, that uh, allows me to access this and it's called File Manager Plus. You need a charge and sync data cable for the PSP Go. Uh, you can get these on AliExpress or Amazon. Uh, take a look in the for a link in the uh, comments. You need some sort of combination of USB cable with an adapter for a US or a, a OGT on the go. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take this USB-A to USB-C and connect a USB-C to USB-C cord so I can connect it to my phone and then I'm going to take the USB-A which is the other end of the data and charge cable on the PSP Go and connect it into the PSP Go now what we're going to need to do here is we're going to navigate over to the far left and under settings you'll see USB connection we want to hit the X and it's going to say, you know, do you want to disable Bluetooth, uh, if the device has Bluetooth, and then you're going to see this screen here about connect the system to the PC or a PS3 system using the, using the USB cable. So we've got all of the USB cable all connected, and I'm going to plug it into my Android phone, and the system should prompt me saying, do you want to open up your file manager uh, and I, when you plug in the PSP? You can say always do this, but I don't want it to happen all the time, so I'm just going to just say OK. And it's going to take me into this app right here. So I have a device that's called Internal. That's the name of my, uh, my SD card inside the PSP. Uh, so I can go in there and I can see there's all the file contents, your ISO folder, your PSP folder. I don't need to tell you uh, where items go in here. Uh, if you do have questions, you can always make comments. But since we know that we have the ISO folder where all our ISOs go, I'm going to go back to my main storage and go into my downloads. And I downloaded Dave Mira BMX Challenge. So I'm going to go and copy it. And then I'm going to go back to my internal my ISO folder and paste and I hope you can see that here it's copying over right now I'm getting about 12 megs a second of course on the PSP you will be seeing the little like happy data is moving uh, icon so let's just sit here and watch You always want it to go faster, but faster isn't always a thing. We're at 46% right now. Sixty. Well, we're getting there. We're getting closer. Seventy-eight percent. Seventy-nine. Eighty. I should have picked a smaller game. It would have made life a little bit easier. I hope this is in focus because. You know, I, uh, I'd like to let you guys know that this is the first time in a long time that I'm not actually recording on my phone. Most of the time I record on the cell phone that I'm actually using to get this, uh, this uh, connection. So there, it's done. It finishes. So I'm going to wait for it to kind of balance out, do its uh, update, and you'll see that the file has been... Uh, copied. I'm going to scroll down and there we go. We can see there Dave Mira is on the SD card. So at this point, 
on the PSP, I can hit zero to go back and disconnect. I will then get an update on my phone saying, restart your phone, the storage has been removed. So I'm just going to disconnect this right now. Now the truth is, if I go over to my game section, system storage, game, free space, will I see Dave Mira? And look at that, right at the top of the list. And it's going to load up. If you have any questions in regards to this, now this will not work on a stock PSP. It doesn't matter which model you have. There's some extra actions that you need to take in between uh, to make copying games uh, over USB work. Uh, but uh, if you have questions, I feel like a lot of people will be able to comment in the chat and uh, provide resources. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope to have uh, more fun videos like this in the future. Have a good day.